Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Simmons. This is Philosophy for Where We Find Ourselves, May 21st, 2020. Is it possible to critique that which you care most about? Now, I think the answer should be obviously yes, and yet we find ourselves in a situation socially where it looks like to be a supporter of a particular cause, idea, or a community is to be unquestioningly supportive. To be, in fact, a cheerleader, to be a loyalist, rather than a critical interlocutor who says, because I love you, I am, in fact, invested in saying, wait a minute, it seems like we're getting off the rails. Socrates suggests that caring for the soul of another, in fact, necessitates being critical of them. Now, it's important that we go slowly here. Being critical doesn't mean that you are out to tear something down or to make someone feel less good. It's instead an attempt to be invested in the idea that your relationship of concern is in fact nested in and guided by a genuine commitment for goodness, truth, virtue, and excellence. The people who are most able to cut us to the quick, to hurt our feelings, to make us feel like we really have done something bad, are those people that we care most about. For example, I am way more critical of my son than I am my friend's son, precisely because I love my son in different ways. I'm invested in him in different ways. So when I'm critical of him, that doesn't mean I'm trying to erode his self-confidence. It means I'm trying to form his character in order to be someone who is not given in to temptations towards arrogance, but instead continues to redeploy that idea that truth is what guides us forward. I'll give you a couple examples of how this might play out. I am a diehard Florida State Seminoles football fan. I went to Florida State, in fact, just to be a football fan. My master's degree from Florida State is actually signed by Bobby Bowden because I met him a few years ago and I took my master's degree and put it in front of him and said, man, please sign this for me. So when I say I'm committed to Florida State, you need to understand how deeply that commitment runs. However, our former coach, Willie Taggart, did such a horrible job as coach that my criticism was unbridled. I was absolutely opposed to his remaining our coach because he was failing to live up to the rigorous and robust standards of excellence that the community, in fact, needed him to achieve. When we take this to a national level, when I am critical of our current national leadership, that critique is not because I hate America or I want it to fail or I'm excited by some sort of diminishment of American status in the world. It's actually because I think America is greatest when it is defined by the models of hospitality, humility, and invitation that have marked its democratic narrative. And right now, I think we fail to have leadership that are in fact committed to truth instead of simply being committed to the reinforcement of their own power. My critique is because I love the thing of which I am critical. Commitment is not about simply being loyal. Commitment is about being willing to speak truth to power in the name of the very commitment itself. Critique is the way we care for the soul of each other but it requires us to be receptive to the criticism offered us by those who in fact are engaged and invested and committed to our own good. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you tomorrow unless the piano falls on our heads.